a virtual desktop may be virtual, but it needs real storage. Implementing effective storage for VDI environments isn't easy. Here are the nine best practices that can help. Understand your users and their work pattern. First and foremost, know your users. How they work, what applications they run, where the traffic fluctuates, how many IOPS they need, and how much data they store. Think security. Think hard about data security. You'll want to apply the principle of least privilege to all resources, encrypt all data, and implement endpoint security wherever possible. Consider the storage needs of all VDI components. A VDI solution is made up of multiple components that often have their own storage requirements. For instance, the user access manager, the license server, and the hypervisors all have storage needs. Choose the right platform. Select a storage system based on the size of your VDI environment and its requirements. Don't try to use legacy storage that's not up to the job. Pay attention to the devices. Traditional VDI is relied on hard disk drives, but these are giving way to solid state drives that deliver more IOPS at lower latencies, are cheaper, more durable, and support greater capacities. Hybrid storage that uses both HDDs and SSDs and supports tiering is also an option. Choose the right support technologies. Consider implementing RAID to improve performance and provide fault tolerance. Software-defined storage is another supporting technology that can help manage and scale systems. Local caching is another option that helps ensure optimal performance. And you'll want to plan for monitoring and analyzing your VDI storage. Take advantage of product-specific options. VDI products provide features that improve storage performance and reduce capacity. For instance, use cloning capabilities to create multiple linked clones that can share the same base image and reduce the amount of data stored. Thin provisioning allocates disk space on demand rather than having to reserve it up front. Be ready for the worst case. Having a VDI disaster recovery plan is critical. You can replicate data to a secondary site, or for a database system, you can support the VDI implementation in a failover cluster. Plan for at-home workers. Virtual desktops are well suited for remote workers, but they must be set up with that distributed workforce in mind. Consider deploying multiple VDI sites in different locations and provide storage for each site to ensure optimal performance. Cloud platforms can be useful in supporting this scenario. Bottom line, implementing VDI storage requires careful planning. Attention to the details outlined in these nine best practices will help. Click the link above or in the description below to learn how VDI storage can benefit from storage class memory and emerging technology. What challenges has your organization faced in setting up VDI storage? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.